Hi guys, Guykers9 here again with another episode of Let's Play Lego Indiana Jones 2. We're still in Temple of Doom and we're going to fall off this cliff because our super bonus thing is actually right here. <laughs> A very little uh, quaint and out of the way place in the map. So yeah, if you're wondering why we haven't seen it before, this is why. Yeah, this episode we'll obviously be doing with the super bonus level and then after that, after this, We'll be able to go on to the next movie. Now, we'll first we'll build this. Obviously, we can already tell what this is going to be. It's going to be a pirate ship or something like that. And how ironic, seeing as how they announced uh, LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean uh, about a few weeks back, huh? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, there are... Uh, I don't know, I'm just thinking that there's at least three more LEGO games coming. Because there's that, there's the new LEGO Star Wars based on the Clone Wars um, cartoon series that they're, you know touting about on Cartoon Network. And then of course the um, sequel to the Lego Harry Potter because they only released the first four years in the first game. Something about that also didn't really make sense to me. I mean, why did you have to split the uh, seventh book to two movies? I mean, would it, uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess because of the reviews it's been going pretty well, but I mean, it just kind of seems like a cheap ploy to get money or to me or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really watch movies anyway, so it's not really much of an issue for me, but yeah. I'll stop talking. Because we're finished building! And so, uh, something should be happening now, like... Alright, so yeah, the door opens. And yeah, use the plank to get on, and then... Wait, did we just get shot out of the cannon? It's kind of weird, I mean... How did that even work? Um... Well, I suppose you could, like, have a trap door in the, in the captain's chamber, and then you, it would, like, automatically shoot you to the cannon and then fire you upwards. Or something like that. Anyways, this is the, uh, uh, I've already screwed up the order anyways, but, um, yeah, this is Treasure Trap. Uh, this one is definitely a little more nature-oriented. You can see, like, there's a bunch of, um, you know, grass and shrubs right here. Again, and well, yeah, the only real difference about this one is that instead of Mutt, you get uh, Mac this time. So, yeah, it's kind of a weird thing that they do here, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to get up here. I'm sure there's probably an easy way to get up here, but, you know, I like cheating. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, shovel the stuff. Uh. So I guess one thing, uh, I, I thought about something, oh yeah, see here's the ladder right here, see I have to do e everything difficultly. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, there, there's no uh, special trick or anything to this, just again, just run around, uh, there's a bunch of dig spots here, and um, a few jumping stuff, but yeah, it's mostly just um, wildlife and stuff like that. Anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about is that um, uh, recently, um, I don't know about you overseas people, but like, um, you know, <laughs> I've, uh, shit, I should just say it. I mean, I, I, I'm not getting anywhere with this. There's a channel called USA Channel um, that I watch. It's like kind of like an action thing for you, those of you overseas and stuff like that. But anyways, recently they've been showing um, the Indiana Jones movies. And by Indiana Jones movies, I mean actually all four of them. They promised to show all four in one night, but so far they haven't, but yeah, since Friday they've been showing movies, and um, one of the movies, I actually did manage to catch Crystal Skull, like, um, well, sort of, full disclosure, I missed the first third of the movie. In fact, I can actually tell you how far I, uh, I started getting, like, how far when I started, by, you know, for this game, actually, right here. Basically, think back to the uh, first level of the second part of Crystal Skull, right at the end there when they're, you know, looking through Oxley's cell or whatever. That's when I started watching. And I have to say, the movie wasn't as bad as everyone made it out to be, to be honest. I mean, bleh. Yeah, there are definitely a few things different from the, it than normal movies, but I still think it got the, you know, kind of the vibe down real quick, even though... Uh, Indiana does, does seem a lot older. <laughs> Lol. But yeah, like, it, it was kind of not, uh, it was kind of cool seeing, like, how everything actually was, because, like, um, before then, the only way I've actually ever seen the movie was through this game. And, yeah, now that I've seen the movie, I realize how, 
much the people who made this game lied to me. Because there was no giant ant monster, and Stalco didn't become a, psychi a psychic octopus thing at the end there. She just burst into flames. Yeah, yeah, spoilers, but seriously, by now, if you haven't watched the movie, you know, yeah, I think I think this whole spoiler thing is probably, you know, gone and past. You've had your chance. But yeah, I don't know, like, I didn't, uh, yeah, that means I did miss the, uh, new, oh, what the, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that horse is on my car. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did miss the infamous nuke scene with the refrigerator and all that stuff, so I don't know exactly how that went, but... I mean, the rest of the movie seemed pretty nice and pretty cool and all that stuff. And, you know, the humor was still there from normal Indiana movies and you know, stuff like that. But, like, I I've also watched uh, uh, all the old movies over, too, and I have to, you know... As a fan of these movies or something, you have to wonder how, why did they do the stuff that they did in this game? And like, um, well, I don't know, am I, I honestly, it's probably just with money. Because like, um, I put in the description of my project that the first Ligurina Jones game, that game came out like literally like a week or two or so before uh, the release of the fourth movie, like in theaters. And, you know, Obviously, you know, someone went, oh, you know what, in order to um, get more money, we can do the fourth game. But th but someone was like, oh, but we've already done the first three movies. We can't make a game on just one movie. And, um, yeah, that's why you got the crap sandwiches that are the story levels for the whole three movies here. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, I blew up the bike! <laughs> I didn't know bikes were explosive. But, um... Oh well, yeah, I mean, you do kind of get the sunless at the, uh, the... There is like a formula to this game, like they had a specific formula of how they were going to do things in this game. And I've hit one million, so I'm... Uh, I'm gonna keep talking. Like, I don't know, it does seem like they've sacrificed a lot of the story just for the gameplay and stuff like that. And it's kind of a shame, I have to say, but... I don't know. Still, this game is uh, enjoyable in its own right. And yeah, we've completed Trap, blah. Tra 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 well, honestly, if you're if you're a good fan of Lego Indiana, uh, no, not Lego. If you're a good fan of just the Indiana Jones movies, you're a lot better off with the first game, to be honest. Like, well, obviously, but I mean, it does it definitely does give the series a lot more justice than this game does, because like they kind of had the force, you know, making those uh, overly dramatic. A boss fights in each of the movies because, you know, that's just the formula that they were using, so, you know, it's kind of a shame, but, oh well. Alright, so yeah, there we go, super bonus level, the fourth one that we've done, 66.7% complete, so we're two-thirds of the way there, and there it is, the little pirate flag is, um, <laughs> a little Lego pirate flag, too. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. So obviously, I would have to say Temple of Doom is probably the shortest movie that we've done so far. Uh, take a look back at it. 92.1%. Obviously because of the missing red power brick that I didn't unlock, and then it uh, looks like about three tre true treasure, uh, true adventures I didn't get. Again, I can, I'm always going to get that off screen because, you know, it really doesn't matter. But anyways, this is Guy Christian Knight with Let's Play Lady and Jones 2. In the next episode, I will either be starting up Last Crusade or Crystal Skull Part 3. I don't know yet because I need to double check and see which is actually more expensive than the other one. Whichever one though is, I'm, I'm going to be doing the cheaper one. And odds are, I think that's going to be The Last Crusade. But yeah, so yeah, all that ending stuff. See you later, bye!